The Nikon Z5 is a budget-friendly, full-frame mirrorless camera that was introduced in July of 2020. The Z5 is a very capable camera that has most of the functionality of its higher-end sibling, the Nikon Z, sporting a 24MP CMOS sensor, Xpeed 6 image processor, 273-point autofocus system, Duos Roman 2 SD memory card slots, a lightweight magnesium alloy body, and a robust list of camera features, the Nikon Z5 has a lot to like about. I had a chance to test the Nikon Z5 for the past three months along with a few new Z-mount Nikon lenses, so I decided to finally publish my assessment of this camera. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year has been especially tough for camera manufacturers. Sales have plunged to all-time lows, the supply chain has been disrupted, and closures have greatly impacted customer demand, making it extremely difficult to sell high-end camera gear. From this standpoint, the Nikon Z5 was a timely release. Its price point positions the camera at the low end of the full-frame camera market, making it a very appealing choice for beginners and enthusiasts on a tight budget. First, let's take a closer look at the specifications of the Nikon Z5. A detailed list of camera specifications is available on the Nikon Z5 page of Nikon USA. If the Nikon Z5 is so similar to its sibling, the Nikon Z, you might be wondering about their differences. After all, these cameras are priced quite a bit apart. Let's take a look at these two cameras side by side, both in terms of specifications and ergonomics. Looking at the specs, you can notice how remarkably similar these cameras are. Both cameras have either similar or identical key features like resolution, processor, F, autofocus system, etc. There are a few notable differences though. The Nikon Z5 has a slower continuous shooting rate of just 4.5 FPS, whereas the Zix can go all the way to 12 FPS. The sensor technology used on the Z5 is older and inferior, whereas the Zix uses a modern BSI CMOS sensor. The Z5 has inferior 4K video recording specs as well, lower 8-bit quality over HDMI, as well as a 1.7-inch video crop. The Zix is 10-bit and log HDMI and is able to take advantage of the whole sensor width. The autofocus system on the Z5 is also a bit weaker in low light situations, with a lower sensitivity range of 2 to plus 19 EV compared to the 3.5 to plus 19 EV range on the Zix. And lastly, the LCD screen on the Z5 has less resolution. Where the Z5 leads is in dual memory card slots, for those who consider it to be important and especially for those who already own SD memory cards and do not want to buy expensive CFexpress or XQD cards. Another advantage is the new ENEL15 battery, which provides noticeably better battery life performance on the Z5 vs the ENEN15 battery on the Zix. 